Hello and welcome back. Sean here, Mountains Garage, on a beautiful Saturday night in the state of Maine, June 4th, 2022. I've been outside for a couple hours now. The weather's been cool for the last few days and mosquitoes, pretty much nothing. I can smell off in the distance. Somebody has lit their charcoal briquettes with the lighter fluid. You know what that smells like. Right now you're smelling it in your mind. It smells pretty good. It also reminds me I'm probably late for supper. My wife and son decided to spend the night up in the up at the marina on the boat. And I decided to stay home and mess with junk and mow the lawn. Exciting stuff like that. You're not gonna believe it, but even I occasionally think I have too many projects. And I should thin the herd. And then I get messing around with stuff and I change my mind. <laughs> Who knows, if I only had one project, would it be the same? Probably not. I've uh, worked my whole life to surround myself with rusty junk. <laughs> this whole thought process stemmed from the wife asking, how many projects exactly do I have? 10 is the number I think right now. And uh, we had a good laugh about it. <laughs> she doesn't care either way. She seldom even asks, but we were riding in the car, going down to mow my mother's lawn, and the subject came up. Because I was, I was driving and she was wheeling and dealing because I was getting messages about more stuff for sale. <laughs> I got to give her credit. She just doesn't care, and that's great. Although I must say, I mean, she has a hot rod. It's sitting over there. It's not that she doesn't care. She just doesn't, doesn't care, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And that's a good thing. It's a beautiful Saturday night, with a few hours of sunshine left. The wind's up, which you may hear in the background, but should keep the bugs away enough. I'm kind of curious to try the Model A two-door 31. On that frame, I need to find four tires that hold air, so maybe it'll roll. But let's fire up the old tractor and dig it out of there anyway. Why not? I'll steal these wheels. I need five on four and a half and they have both belt buttons. Now we grab the chassis and we'll see if we can put some wheels and tires that hold air. My balance point is such that when I took the right front off, she started to fall off the extended forks. The rear tires held air. Just had to air them up. So I'm gonna stick these on the front. And maybe it'll at least look like a square, level-sitting chassis. That should do it. When I bought this chassis four or five years ago, I did some rough measuring. I'll include a chart that I followed going by these bolts on center with the front of the cowl mounts. And the width in the back, and I believe I checked the wheelbase. Obviously, it's not original Model A because it doesn't have all the brackets and all the measuring points. It's got a four link Mustang 2 front end. But basically, it should be able to go under the Model A two door. But the only, one, only way to find out is to try it. I know the sub rails looking under the two door kind of go this way and that way, but I don't think the Model A had specific frames. I don't know. I'm not researching. I'm just winging it. So let's just go set it on there and see what it looks like. Always remember, it's super important to park everything you own around the tractor when you're trying to maneuver. <laughs> Things kind of mean looking. Isn't it? And remember, it's always best practice to operate straight into the sun. <laughs> it doesn't look bad on camera, but I couldn't really see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go grab a 9 16 and take out those cowl bolts, just in case I wanna bolt it down. I think it's gonna fit as intended. We'll find out in a second. Well, it technically fits. 
One of the cowl bolts is about a half a hole off. No such thing as a bolt on pot, don't you know? Inside, I'll give you the view from the back. It's pretty much flat on flat, so I have to make a few mounting points, but again, it technically fits. The only way this look puts the fronts up in the air, but the only way this look would work for me is it's got to come down about a mile and it's going to need fenders and running boards, a half hood and all that stuff. I couldn't drive it like this. It looks like it's four wheel drive. So that four link bracket definitely hangs down a long way. That would have to be hidden because that's hideous. But maybe it has potential. Rear view, it has the blocks of steel holding it up a ways, but I know they look pretty much like this in the back. You have to have a good look in rear end because it's probably going to be on display. This is not a good looking rear end. Tucked away for now. We'll let them uh, get used to each other. See if this is going to stick. This is a fun part of hot rod and it only takes a few minutes to move stuff around. And it takes a long time to actually connect to all the details. I've done zero research, but I'm pretty sure if I did run the Mustang 2 suspension, which this stuff probably handles and makes this a really nice driving car, but you have to hide it because it's ugly. I'm pretty sure I'd have to cut my fenders, which is not a deal breaker around this area. There's the Model A fender bolts right on top, so that would require some mods, but I'm not the first one to do it. This poor frame has been sitting around so long, the steering rack doesn't even move. I bought new control arms. I have springs, shocks. I have a power rack, but I think I possibly might be trading that for a manual rack, which I would. Who knows? The motor mounts need to go. The, they got the motor headed downhill a long ways. Apparently they wanted it to sit like a four wheel drive. This contraption that the Model A body was sitting on, I think I need to negotiate to keep this. It looks really handy. It's probably an old bed spring or something, but bed frame. But it's just the right height if you were working on it. And it's adjustable. Yeah, let's see if we can snag that. Dang, that Chaco smells good. Earlier today, I backed in with a load of junk and I stopped my truck right there and I used the pallet stack it unload it cleared it by a hair the tailgate that is lucky and while it doesn't look like much two of these i-beams and maybe pieces of the third one are going to be my frame table i've been studying frame tables uh this pallet isn't a, a stress test to see how much weight you can put on the outside of a rotten piece of wood and not have it cave in so far so good but this is probably, I haven't measured it, at least 18 feet probably. So that's perfect. I just got to decide on the width and the height. And I'm just going to bolt it together. Drill a few holes and bolt her up. It's going to have casters and some threaded rod or something to level it and make it stationary when you're working on stuff. And then you can lower it back down on the wheels and off you go. I already have the casters and everything, so just got to get on it. But welding together the 32 frame that I just got, well, this would be really handy for that. And then the 47 Ford truck cab, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to build a full chassis, narrowed rear end, you know, roll cage, all that stuff. Still a street hot rod, but it's kind of got that vibe and I have most of the parts. I think I got a front end today. We'll see.
So that's pretty much it for tonight. I have one hour of daylight left, give or take, and I still haven't mowed the lawn. And I haven't had any meal beyond lunch. I did have a strawberry shake, <laughs> but that doesn't count. Looks for the 31 Model A two-door. I'm gonna throw a couple pictures up here that aren't mine. I got them off the internet. I would give credit to the photographer because that's important, but I don't know whose they are. Nor have I even tried to find out. So for your viewing pleasure, basically two looks. The 32 frame, open wheeled, low. You know, the tie is pretty much up even with the top. You'd have to chop the top and stuff. So I don't think I want to do that. I think I just want full fenders, full height roof, uh, you know, steelies and hubcaps. Just a traditional looking hot rod that doesn't look... It has to look cool. It has to have a look. If you're into hot riding, you got to have a look. So, thanks for watching. Just goofing around today. Maybe in the next video, we'll do something of great substance. Or not. You never know. Have a good one. Saturday night. Enjoy yourself. Just not too much. <laughs>